For over two decades, Palpatine trained Darth Maul in the ways of the Dark Side after being handed over to the future Dark Lord of the Sith by Maul's mother. Finding a role as a Sith assassin, Maul would emerge from his tutelage under Palpatine to perform important, high-priority missions for the Sith to prevent anyone from learning about the true identities of Palpatine and Darth Plagueis, who both held very public personas that were best left intact. Given Palpatine's roughly 22 years of training his first apprentice since birth, how exactly did the Sith Lord react to Darth Maul's death, as he understood it at the time, upon Naboo at the hands of Obi-Wan? In this video expose, I will describe Palpatine's reaction to the death of Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. As we learn in the novel Darth Plagueis by James Lucino, Palpatine was not completely himself following the murder of his master to assume the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith. Following the death of Plagueis, although Palpatine felt a sudden surge of the Force within him that was so strong that he feared he might disappear into it, causing him to wonder if the dark side had ever been so strong in anyone else before, Palpatine also couldn't escape other emotions after what should have been his greatest triumph. In the moments following the murder of Plagueis, Palpatine felt a profound sense of loss and an inescapable, intense feeling that he was alone. While Palpatine couldn't exactly understand why it was that he was having these experiences after taking Plagueis' mantle as master, the situation became clearer once he arrived on his home world in the aftermath of the Battle of Naboo. As his first order of business and first official duty as Supreme Chancellor of the Republic, Palpatine traveled to Naboo to congratulate Padme and the Gungans on their surprise victory in the battle. It was here upon the planet of Naboo that Palpatine first learned of Darth Maul's defeat and death at the hands of Obi-Wan, which had been the source of his great sense of loss and solitude. In addition to Palpatine's initial emotions that emerged at the loss of his apprentice, he also experienced a great deal of confusion. He knew that Maul had been successful in killing Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, and yet Maul had been overcome by a far less experienced lightsaber duelist in Obi-Wan. Palpatine's first instinct was to obtain the details of the duel from the Jedi Order of how exactly Maul was defeated, but he chose not to press for the information, choosing to accept the duel playing out as he wanted to imagine it. Outside of the fact that Palpatine had been raising Maul as his apprentice and Sith assassin for roughly two decades, Palpatine's initial reaction was also heavily influenced by the fact that he had important plans for Maul following the Battle of Naboo. With Plagueis gone, and with Palpatine having been made Supreme Chancellor, and therefore couldn't run the risk of being exposed by engaging in missions for the Sith, Palpatine planned to turn to Maul to fulfill these missions in the future. As Palpatine told Plagueis as he was torturing his master to death, your presence, much less your unnecessary counsel, would only confuse matters. I have Maul to do what the risk of discovery might not allow me to do, while I execute the rest of the grand plan. Therefore, Palpatine's initial reaction to what he perceived at the time as the death of Maul upon Naboo was one of shock and surprise, given that he'd been defeated by an inexperienced Padawan and was deprived of his plans for Maul going forward. But it was also one of sadness and an initial feeling that he was alone within the galaxy. So there we have it, Palpatine's reaction to the death of Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like, or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow the channel on Twitter to stay up to date on all things Star Wars Reading Club, or support the channel on Patreon for exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Awkward Reunions.